Hello everyone, um, my name is Mr Sperling, I'm a member of the Jazz PE department and I oversee the academic PE here within the schools, so that's A-levels and especially GCSEs. Um, this video will be giving you more information to see if we can get you a little bit more informed to make sure that you can make the right decisions at the start of year 10. I guess the first biggest question is why should you take GCSE PE? Um, there are lots of reasons why, but it's a great subject because it kind of combines the practical elements and the theoretical elements. Um, we look at building on your practical performances, your competitive sport from outside of school. We also look at developing your knowledge around different topics such as anatomy, physiology, sports psychology and the history of sport throughout the duration of the two years. Um, PE can lead you anywhere. There's lots of different black pathways that you can go through. One of them being sports coaching, it can take you to physiotherapy, you can become a sports scientist, you can become a sports psychologist. So if those things are interesting to you or those path pathways are of interest, this might be the subject for you. So the main thing that you've got to consider is what PE actually looks like and what it contains. Uh, you'll have three lessons every single week. One of those lessons will be practical to continue to develop your practical elements of the course and two of those lessons will be theoretical so that will be based in the classroom where you learn about all things sport, sport science and the history of sport. When it comes to assessments you need to know the main two divisions. It's separated into 60% which is your theoretical course. Yes we are largely theoretical at GCSE and that is assessed through two examinations. Um, we also have some non-examined non assessments which take the form of your practical course which actually considers or makes up 30% of the course. Um, you'll be assessed in three different sports. Two of them need to be a team sport or one of them an individual sport or the other way around, so two individual sports and one team sport. But for us, we need you to be at a stage now where you're competing outside of school, you're taking part in sport more than just an ECA, and you're ready to compete and take that next step when you get to GCSC. That leaves 10%, which is made up of your coursework. The coursework is a personal exercise programme. Um, this is something where you identify strengths and weaknesses to do with your main sport, and then you create your own training programme to try and develop those weaknesses to make you a better all-round athlete. That pretty much sums up the course. Um, if you do have any more information or want any more information or you are interested in the subject, please just come and speak to one of the PE departments. We'll be more than happy to help you.